नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड एट्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर फाइव कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल लर्न कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम बिफोर दैट सम ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन विल सी सी वी यूज वेरियस मटीरियल्स for our basic needs various materials or various things for our basic essential needs okay some of them have been or some of them are found in the nature and some of them have been made by the human efforts okay by the human made see some are available easily in the nature for example okay air water okay some of the minerals and some are been by the human efforts human by made for example plastic rubber pen okay like this clear now or even you can say the mouse okay then board so like this are by the human efforts now see here given make a list of various materials used in us in our daily life and classify them as natural and man made so dear students you are knowing that what do you mean by nature you are getting easily from the nature itself because that already i told you air water minerals okay coal petroleum and man made man made means by the human beings okay by the human beings at like bench chair table or even plastic bucket so like this okay does this okay here given suppose in this list suppose you have taken here by the natural ma natural does this list include air water soil and minerals see air water soil minerals these are all nature by the nature natural materials since all these are obtained from the nature they are called as natural resources okay what do you mean by natural resources now the materials which are obtained from the nature they are called as natural resources okay now this natural resources are as classified see can air water and soil be exhausted exhausted means after using this will be over see after using them that will get over like that will get empty so can air water so will be exhausted by the human activities what do you say about the real student, uh, sorry dear students you have studied this in the light of this availability see the, the the resources are broadly classified into two kinds inexhaustible resources natural resources and exhaustible natural resources at like non renewable resources and renewable resources See, inexhaustible resources means what? Natural. These resources are present in unlimited quantity in the nature. They are unlimited. For example, air, okay, water, mineral, and are not likely to be exhausted after using them. Also, that will be not exhausted, exhausted. So that will not be become empty. okay by the human activities for example is given here also sunlight air in this you can use even water also okay or even <coughs> water say air water these are all included in this in the inexhaustible natural resources so they are called as renewable continuously available also now exhaustible means what non renewable see the amount of these resources in the nature is limited they can be exhausted by the human activities by after the this using them that will be get over so that becomes empty for example wildlife minerals coal petroleum the natural gas this after using them it will be get empty and even for going to make them it takes a long time lot of time it takes so that is why these are all coal and petroleum these are all exhaustible natural resources after using them it will be get over 
so dear students only two classification inexhaustible means not exhaustible not empty after using them for example here given sunlight air and exhaustible means after using them it will be get over but their formation takes millions of years also see so that is why here given <coughs> for understanding in this group activity say some understanding point is given take some containers and fill them with popcorn peanuts roasted gram so topis some of the sweets divide sweets divide them into group of several students into several each divide students into several groups further divide each group into three subgroups subgroup 3 containing one to four students label them first second third generation so this you have to think first generation second generation and third generation like this these subgroups represent the consumers consumer means what consumer to use up eating them as yes, the population is growing second and third generation have large number of consumers large number of using to using them put on one <coughs> all full container for each group on the table ask consumers of first generation from each group to consume the eatables from the container of the groups see first generation they have to use this one now ask the second generation consumers for each group to do the same ask the students observe carefully the availability of eatables in the each container see first container first generations are using then they are using the second generation and if the something is left in the container ask the third generation users now finally observe the third generation got the eatables or not see suppose students three groups first generation second generation and third generation see container some of the eatable items are kept first generation came and eat or use them second generation also came is it available for the third generation so it will be shortage or may not be also so observe if anything is left still left any of the containers so it means what assume that these eatable containers represent the total availability of exhaustible natural so you have to think that they are exhaustible means after using them it will be get over okay coal petroleum or natural gas see coal ke petroleum and natural gas exhaustible natural resource these are all coal petroleum natural gases are exhaustible natural resources by the nature getting but exhaustible <coughs> each group may have different consumes pattern are the earlier generation of any group too greedy it may be that the earlier generations in the some groups were concerned about the coming generation and left something for them only suppose if they have used more then the next generation they will not get so in this chapter this why we will learn about some exhaustible natural resources like coal petroleum and na natural gas these were form see this coal petroleum and natural gas are formed or were formed from the dead remains of the living organism see dear students underline this one <clears throat> these were formed from the dead remains from the dead bodies of the living organism so that is why they are called as fossil fuels or fossils so these are called as fossils so sometimes asking the question what do you mean by fossils or fossil fuels name them name them means coal petroleum and natural gas now we'll see about the coal so you know that <coughs> see the coal or heard about it has a heart see coal is you have to write exhaustible resources one point second one coal is a hard substance hard stone and is black in color now next point is coal is one of the fuel it is a fuel used as a fuel used to cook food cook was to cook cook the food earlier it was used in railway engines to produce the steam steam means water you know vapor steam is given vapor form of water to run the engines earlier the rail engines are using the steam there they are using the coal it is also used in the thermal power plants see thermal what do you mean by thermal power plants here for generating electricity you know that for running the turbine 
Now coal is uh, using coal, thermal power plants. <coughs> the power plants they are using the ther coal. They are called as the thermal power plants to produce the electricity. So remember, thermal power plants means using the coal to produce the electricity. <coughs> okay. So coal is also used as fuel in the various industries. So these are all about like a short note on coal means. Still lot of is there, but this is this much about the properties of the coal. Now story of the coal what? How the coal was formed? So where do we get coal from, and how it was formed? So about three hundred million years ago, the earth had a dense forest, thick forest. Dense means thick, of low lying, low lying areas, like area which is low, that is surrounded by the areas. See, area is which is low. Then surrounded by the areas, there is low lying wet land areas also. Wet land, wet land means it is wet. Okay, contains water. Due to the not natural process, see, due to the natural process like flooding, these forests got buried. Buried means put in the ground, cover the earth, buried under the soil. See, these forests were buried in the soil. As more soil deposited over them, after that, what soil is deposited one above the other, they were compressed. Compression means what? Pressed tightly together or flattened. So what will happens after the flattening? The temperature also rose, rising, increasing as they sank deeper and deeper. Sank means going down deeper and deeper under high pressure and under high temperature. This dead plants got slowly converted, slowly changed into coal. So, these dead plants were slowly changed into coal. So, dear students, these are all takes a not a short time, millions of years. Okay, that is why this you have to use them very. You have to use them limitedly. So, as coal contains many. Okay. So this is about the coal formation. Now coal contains mainly carbon, mainly carbon. So that is why when you will heat them, then you will burn them. You will get the heat. As coal contains mainly carbon, the slow the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. So dear students, what do you mean by carbonization? The carbonization means the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal. Is called as carbonization. Underline this one, okay? Since it was formed from the remains of the plants or from the vegetation, coal is also called as fossil fuels. See, dear students, sometimes asking the question, coal is formed from the animals or plants? So you have to remember that dead vegetation, remains of the vegetation or remains of the plants, okay? See the coal mine is given here. Coal mines. See, look here. These are the coal mine. Bihar, Dhanabad coal mine in Bihar. Dhanabad coal mine is the coal mine. After digging the earth, you will get coal only. When heated in the air, coal burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas. When coal you are burning, you will get the carbon dioxide gas. Coal is processed in the industry. Processed. Process means what? So process means. Take out several as a set of procedures used in the to produce as a product. Number of procedures will be used to produce the pro for making the product. See, coal is processed in the industry to get some useful products such as coke, coal, tar, and coal gas. See, this coke, coal tar, and coal gas are the products of the coal. Now we'll see about the coke. It is a tough, porous, and black substance. See, sometimes asking, write a short note on coke. This is tough, hard, porous means some spaces will be there, and black substance. It is also almost pure form of the carbon. Coke is used in the manufacture of steel and in the extraction. Extraction means taking out or removing out the metals. It is available in the earth crust. Okay, this is about the coke. Now, coal tar. It is also a black, thick liquid. Black, thick liquid, with unpleasant smell. Not a pleasant, unpleasant. Not a good smell. It is a mixture of. This is a mixture of about 
200 substances. This coal tar is a mixture of 200 substances. Products obtained from the coal tar are used as starting materials for manufacturing various substances. Manufacturing means preparing various substances used in our day-to-day -day life and as well as in industry like synthetic dyes, colors, synthetic means artificial dyes, drugs, medicines, explosives like firecrackers, perfumes, plastics, paints, photographic materials, roofing materials. For this all the coal tar is using. Interestingly, naphthalene balls, phenyl, phenyl ball, you know, phenyl ball. In the toilet they are keeping, sometimes we are keeping in the cloths also to remove the insect, to repel mouths is given. That means to remove the, what you are saying, insects and other insects are also obtained from the coal tar. Okay, these days are bitumen, bitumen is a petroleum product, bitumen, B-I-T-U-M-E, a petroleum product used in the place of coal tar for metalling the roads. Metalling means for surfacing, for surfacing the roads. Pakka road, kacha note, pakka road, for metalling the roads, for surfacing, for preparing surfacing the roads. Pakka road, you are saying. So there, coal tar is using. Now you will see about the coal gas. Coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get the coke. So coal gas is obtained during the processing of the coal to get the coke. It is used, it is used where of, it is used as a fuel for in many industries situated near the coal processing plants. It is also used as a fuel. And now here somewhat given coal gas was used in the for street lightning for the first time in the London. Underline students, see coal gas was, was used in the street lighting for first time in the London 1810, 1810 year in the New York around 1820. Okay. Nowadays, see in the first time coal gas was used for a street light. The 1810 in the London, in the New York, in the 1820. But nowadays, it is used as a source of heat. It is used as a heat, not the light. But nowadays, it is used as the source of a heat, not for the lightning. Okay, dear students. So, these are all about the coal and exhaustible natural resources. You know, the inexhaustible natural resources. Okay, like this. And introduction we have done. So, go through this and underline some important points. Okay, students. So, we will meet the next uh, uh, heading is Petroleum. We will uh, we'll go for next uh, heading Petroleum. Okay. Till that. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us.